Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Another record-breaking cold start to the day. Temperatures here in Terre Haute have fallen back to 10 below. The standing record was one below, but and we have shattered that already this morning and we are still going to continue to drop off at least until that sun comes up in a few hours. So again, just going to be dangerously cold out there and we're not seeing a wind here in Terre Haute, but where there is just a light breeze blowing around, well, that's going to make it feel even colder. Current temperature up in Paris is 14 below and that's the cold spot across the map this morning. Seven below over in Mattoon, five below in Robinson, zero in Alney, and it's also zero in Vincennes. And it's hard to think that that zero degree temperature is actually the warm spot across southern portions of the valley this morning. Take a look at your wind direction again. Not a lot of wind to speak of. They're coming in out of the north from Vincennes over through Flora and in Mattoon, and those are the places that are dealing with the colder wind chills down to about 10 below and only 12 below in Flora and in Vincennes. 16 below your current wind chill temperature in Mattoon. Nonetheless, the Indianapolis Office of the National Weather Service did issue a wind chill advisory. It's going to be in effect for our counties along and north of I-70, including Owen County. That advisory is in effect through 9 o'clock this morning. At least we're not dealing with winter storm warnings. That's what they're dealing with across the southeast. Wind storm warnings posted from uh, Louisiana over through North Carolina dealing with some snow showers, some icy precipitation to the south. Again, pretty much the entire country just dealing with a very harsh winter this year. We still have high pressure that's in control for us and that's once again going to keep that sky mostly clear for us as we head through the day. So your clouds and radar here locally again showing us that yeah, we had a few clouds around to the overnight, but for the most part, those skies are going to stay mostly clear and again, expecting plenty of sunshine as we head through the day today. So future cast again, picking up on that clear sky, showing us that it is going to be just a little bit warmer out there with those daytime highs getting back to about 18. We topped out near 11 yesterday. So again, slowly going to be entering our way in the right direction. So we look at a warming trend for the remainder of the week. A bitterly cold morning for us. Keep that in mind near six below during the eight o'clock hour, rebounding to about one at 10. We'll get back to 12 by noon today with that daytime high still 20 to 25 degrees below your average should be near 41 this time of year. We're not going to get out of the teens today through the overnight tonight. Those skies stay mostly clear and again it will be cold. Still the potential to get below zero by your Wednesday morning about one below with a wind chill down to 10 below. Skies stay mostly clear. We'll start Wednesday off with a mostly clear sky with increasing clouds looking for a partly cloudy day on Wednesday and a little bit warmer in advance of our next weather system set to move in. Daytime high is getting back into the upper 20s. That's for your Wednesday, but keep in mind we're going to see more clouds around Wednesday afternoon and even some snow going to try to make its way in, but I do believe the atmosphere is going to be just a little too dry to keep that snow in intact really. So looks like that's going to dissipate. We will call it dry all the way through your Thursday, kicking off Thursday near 10. Watch what's going to happen for your Thursday afternoon. Here's temperature tracker for the next six days, and that pattern's going to start to shift around a little bit, looking for some warmer air to filter in as we head through Thursday and on Friday, even into next weekend. That's where those warmer temperatures come into play. So we're finally going to get back above that freezing point Thursday with a daytime high of 35, slowly inching our way closer to your average for this time of year by next Sunday. So for today, looking for a high of 18. It's going to be clear and cold. And again, outside this morning, definitely going to need several layers. Make sure that you have your hands covered up. You have a scarf on, perhaps a hat. It's just going to be cold. One below through the overnight tonight. It's clear skies prevails. We Rebound back to about 28 with a partly cloudy sky come Wednesday afternoon. Staying partly cloudy for Thursday, then for your Valentine's Day. That's going to be our next chance for some snow. Some light snow showers possible Friday. Really not looking at a lot of accumulation, perhaps up to a half an inch. And then again on Saturday, another inch will be possible. Not a significant snow by any means. Yeah, then we're going to warm things up by Monday with a high of 45. That's going to be a chance of rain with those warmer temperatures.